Coffee Cups. My name is Terry Dean, your host, guitar guy. Glad to have you back here. We'll look at today a classic from Crosby, Stills, and Nash here. Four-Way Street, early Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Uh, Young may have been in there, I'm not sure. We'll give him a song after this one here, too, coming up. But uh, looking at open tuning. So, uh, for some of you, this may be a first. Others of you have been doing this for quite a while. What we want to do is we want to take the D string here and match it with our low E string. So we're going to take the E and bring it down to D. Now if you're tuning along and playing along with me, I'm in E flat, so everything will be just down a half a step. But basically, you want this chord. You want a full D chord and then the D will be in the bass. So we'll talk relative to the D even though it's in E flat. Let's look at the finger in position. It's an easy song and uh, a lot of people um, uh, play it a little differently. I think this is more like how they used to play it. They switch their voices so they don't play it like this key anymore. I think they actually play it in A or something. But anyways, we're gonna start off with a D up on the seventh fret. So it's a, a D fingering, which would be seven, eight, seven for one, three, two. The next chord being the, uh, a different D inversion, but it's a five, seven, seven chord. And then it's like a D minor, a three, five, four, or a D minor position back to a D position right here at the root. So again, seven D to this variation. It's dropping down the uh, voicing note there to me. D minor uh, fingering or voicing, and then to the regular. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the bass string, I'm gonna go. Let me blow this up for you so you can see the chords better. We're gonna break down. That's one part right there. Okay, here's those chords again. We're at D on the seventh. So it's seven, eight, seven. Five, seven, seven, D minor position, three, five, four, to a regular D, two, three, two. Every other time, you know, it's like a bomb. second, the verse, and there's a rose, B minor, to A, to a G. Let's look at that G, it may be new for some of you guys here. Two fingers on the six and five, so it's, it's like an E minor chord, instead of on the fourth and fifth, put them on the fifth and sixth, and bring it up to the fifth fret. So E minor positioning, but on the sixth and fifth string. So it's, rose, the fist in love. Or you can just play it with an open E, but get that D in there too if you can. 